Tomorrow in the co-main event, the challenger from Brazil, Rafael Diaz, the defending champion from the Republic of Ingushetia, Movzar Yovoyev. Please welcome your challenger, Rafael Diaz! Representing the Republic of Ingushetia, he is your reigning, defending, undisputed M1 champion, Mavsa Ivloyev! Challenger in the blue corner from Brazil, Rafael Diaz, the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, Mavzar Yovloyev, undefeated at 9 0 from the Republic of Ingushetia, the defending champion. A lot of grappling accolades for Yovloyev as well. Pancration, freestyle wrestling, amateur MMA. Well, he said at the press conference yesterday, I wish, Chris, that I had 10 rounds. So he says he's in good shape. I'm ready to go out there. I'm ready to make Diaz work hard. And there oh, we go. Look wow. at this. He caught the knee. Ivo went for a knee to the head, he caught it, underhooked it, now he's got down in half guard. Not very often that we see him offside, Ivo on his back. Rafael Diaz, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. He's going to look for a head and arm variation. Dars, how did Dars have to let it go? Yeah, he went for the Dars there but missed it. Nice technical stand up from Mozart to Flores. Yavloyev in that 50-50 position. Both guys with a left overhook, over-under. Rafael Diaz with his back up against the ropes and the fence. The rage, the ring and the cage combined. Two minutes on the clock. Yavloyev, that's oh. a trip. Full guard here for Diaz. Well, he did so well. Diaz was the, avoiding all the takedowns. Nice step over. Beautiful work. Keeps the foot in there so that he doesn't half guard him. Now he stepped through, so he's going to half guard. Rogloya now pinning with that right leg, the left arm of Diaz. Rogloya using the oh, instant. Oh, nice. There's the underhook. See, as soon as he got the underhook, he got up. What a throw! Nice wizard! Beautiful work. But as I was saying, Diaz got the underhook and got back to his feet immediately, but not for long. Yeah, I was going to say, Mavzal Yavloyev killed that underhook with the over, used it, and threw him beautifully. That's thinking two and three steps ahead. Machine. Yeah, beautiful. Drill, 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 that's what you have to do. So it becomes instinct, you don't have to think about it. Final ten seconds of round one. Oh, oh, big punches, oh, big punches, oh, big punches. Was oh my word! Yavloya looking to close the show. Diaz on his back. That's it. Victor Carnev. Has he called a stop there? Yeah. That's the end of the round. End of the round. Wow. I actually thought Diaz was out. Good positions. Diaz had a deep underhook, but Yavloya able to kill it with the uh, overhook. And then going with that beautiful leg between the two legs technique, otherwise known as Uchimata. Uchimata and uh, able then to finish the round there. That was the uppercut. That was one of the biggest shots. I think that was a little bit of a flash KO. Yeah, it looked like it. For this co-main event, but that doesn't stop the action. We're actually undercover. Two of a scheduled five here. Mamza Yavloyev, switch kick to the body. Rafael Diaz returns the favor. Yavloyev looking low. Right hand lands there. 
Left hook there for Mabzai Yavloyev. Double underhooks. Can he get the takedown again? Diaz was too hesitant. He was expecting the takedown. He was too hesitant. Wouldn't throw the punches. Well, the crowd are going crazy here. It is raining and Targum and Mabzai Yavloyev continuing to work here. But what has happened, because the rain has come down, the whole crowd is surged forward to the cage because it is undercover. That makes the crowd even louder in our ears, Chris. They are screaming for their champion. I can barely hear you, let alone myself in here, machine. Evloev trapped the arm. Krusevic's position. Evloev working on top here, open half guard. Diaz struggling. Flat on his back. Shoulders pinned, hips at times being pinned. That's good control so far from Mazzai Evloev. Well, it's great control. Controlling a BJJ black belt like that. Yeah, it's a whole different kettle of fish to use the uh, British nomenclature in MMA, isn't it? You've got a great skill set, obviously, in pure grappling, but Diaz has made that BJJ work in MMA, no doubt about it, but Mazzai Evloev is a master of control. Yeah, the difference is as well, you can punch them in the face, so there's a, there's a whole lot of difference. Touch the gloves. Evloev, look in the box here. Diaz needs to get his back off the ropes. Check up there from Diaz. Oh, no. Was Diaz clipped? Diaz got rocked. Hundred the center here for Yovoyev. Nice knee. But again, going to his back quite easy is Diaz. Well, Diaz has no answer for what Yovoyev has given him. But what you don't want to do is have your back against the ropes against the guy like Yovoyev because he will punch and he will shoot. And if he shoots while right up against the ropes, you've got nowhere to go. He punches here. Diaz in trouble again. Ten seconds to go. Good love and a very opportunistic place, but again, I think Diaz will be saved by the bell. Well, we go to the third round. Three of five. Well, again, Diaz, oh, I was just going to say, again, Diaz was backing off. Nice. nice. Single to double. Well, that's why he's the champion. Look how beautiful that is. Big takedown again. This is a black belt he's got on the ground here. Mom's of Florida, they ain't a black belt in the BJJ, but he's got grappling street cred like you would not believe. He's a black belt in MMA if there was such a one. Nice body shots. Oh, punishing that body right now. Good punches here from Mabza Yavloyev, controlling that left arm. Diaz again takes another shot. And another left. Good hammer fist. Yavloyev starting to open up again. The look on Diaz's face there. He's looking across to his corner as if to say, what the hell can I do? The fans chanting Mopsa, Mopsa. What a win it would be for your Yavloyev here on home turf. Oh, nice. Technical escape. Getting. No, he decides to leave it. Smart from Yavloyev. Diaz's corner not happy, though. They wanted to break away, I think. Well, I can't understand what I, I saw the bang on the, on the rage. As if they weren't unhappy, but what do they want him to do? Oh, look at that, though. Your boy up explodes. Oh, Diaz going oh, for the guillotine. 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 That, that looks very tight. tight. That looks tight. Oh, no. 122 left. Your boy up. might be in some trouble here. This will be bad. He's got some space. Can he get out? Oh, he's going to get out. He's going to get out. He needs to climb those legs higher. He needs to get the legs over the back. So there we go. That's higher. Oh, he's out. He's out. Yavloyev able to TP up and relieve that pressure on his neck and he escapes the guillotine 
60 seconds to go in the third round. We'll see how it goes. Oh! Whoa. But again, Sparse. Diaz backs off to the rage. Very smart, though. Monzo had a trade. He sensed that there would be a uh, possible opportunity, and he took him down. Underhook and out. Let's see if he goes for it. Well, this is an unusual and a very unusual Drusevic position. Oh, he pops out again, goes for the guillotine. If he, climbs, if he climbs to mount the guillotine, that will be stronger. Has got that chin stuff. Oh, no. Has he, he got the hands together? He needs Monzo's to get, got to go two on one here. He needs to get the legs around. There's one. If he can get two, that will be better. Sit on the mount. Apply the guillotine. Rafael Diaz going to work on that choke. Can he get the submission here? Looks at us right through the ring. It's the half guard that's saving. Now he stepped over. This could be worse. Oh, he's gone high. He's gone too high. Listen to the crowd as Mozario Boyev again escapes that front headlock position. Total domination. A true champion, but we still have five minutes to go. Let's see what Diaz has left in the in the, the gas tank. See if he's got anything there. So the 23-year-old defending champion, Mozario Boyev, taking on the 25-year-old challenger from Brazil, Rafael Diaz. Not sure what the, the conversation was with the referee. Looked like more than a, oh, this is the fifth round of a title fight. Again, backs up to the rock. Oh, oh, he's out! Huge he's knocked him down! From Monsario Boyle. What is the referee doing? This what is, fight has to be over. What is the referee doing? He was out cold. That's it. It's a win for Monsario Boyle. And still the Bantamweight champion. What the What was the referee thinking? That was dangerous for the referee. He was out cold. He was out before he hit the canvas, and he allowed too many unanswered shots. But wow, what a finish for your champion. Unbelievable. Mozart now 10-0 at 23. Has just knocked out Rafael Diaz. What a spectacular finish. Let's take a look at the replay. Jab, catching the distance, and then coming in with the two. Hammer fists and down punches here from this position were all elementary. It was all over at that point. What a beautiful finish. Mozart Boy coming in with the jab. Lands the right cross, perfectly on the button. Down goes Diaz, and Mozart Boy is still the bantamweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, after 21 seconds of the fifth round, we have a winner by technical knockout and still your M1 Challenge Bantamweight Champion, Morsa Ivloyev!